Uh, then the next thing that we always want to do is we want to go in and close the books. Um, in QuickBooks, this is a little different than in um, some other softwares, right? But it works just fine. So you go into your account and settings. Um, you go into the advanced here and you, you edit, close the books and turn that on. You set your closing date. So I'm going to close as of July 31st. Um, and then they have two options in here, allow changes after viewing a warning. I wish they would take that away <laughs> because a warning, no, no one listens to any pop-up in QuickBooks hardly, right? Like people just click, oh, how do I get out of it? How do I get rid of it? So uh, always allow for changes after viewing a warning and entering a password, right? Because even for myself, even for me, when I'm going through and doing my day-to-day -day activities, I see a pop-up, I'm like, ugh, bypass it. But if I have to put in a password, then I am acknowledging, even if it's just me running my books, I am acknowledging that this is, uh, like I, I know I'm posting to a period that I have already done all the work papers for. <laughs> and hopefully it'll stop you from doing it. 